Hello and welcome to my room at university. This is my little setup for year three. My name is Ben, if you're completely new around here. I'm currently at the University of East Anglia studying international development and I'm in my third year so I'm almost done. I made a few videos last year um, that you may or may not have already seen. Underneath these videos in the comment sections there was a lot of questions that people were asking and I thought instead of asking them um, in the comment section I'd answer them in the video because they may be helpful to people who are at university already or maybe going to university. If this video is helpful then please leave a like down below, it's much appreciated and consider subscribing. I upload on a Wednesday and a Sunday at 6 p.m. So I hope you stick around. So the first question. The first question is from Happy Alex. She says, I presume it's a girl. She says, I was wondering how you found getting into Norwich Town. Did you get a term ticket for the bus? Okay, so uh, I live about 15 minutes away from campus and I actually have a bike, which saves me a lot of money on um, getting the bus every day, but I do know I did a little bit of a had a little look online, um, and a term ticket for the year um, for buses is two hundred and twenty-five pounds um, for the for the year, and I think it's like a little bit cheaper if you do it for um, just the three terms, and it's a hundred pounds for a term, so that sort of gives you a rough estimate. But my advice would be get a bike. Norwich is not a massive city, so you can pretty much get anywhere on a bike and you'll save yourself 225 quid a year. The second question is from a guy called Ida Mays. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Ida Mays. He asks, um, is there a mosque at UEA and how many Muslim students are there? Um, so I don't believe there is a mosque at um, UEA, but there is like an Islamic center in the um, lecture theatres which is open 24 hours where uh, Muslims can go and pray, I believe. There's also a multi-faith centre on campus as well where anyone of any religion can go and pray. And I'm pretty sure that's open for 24 hours as well. That's just near the square, that one. So um, yeah, both on campus. So yeah, I hope that answers your question. Next question is from a Rachel. Um, she uh, has got a few questions actually. She says, what's my favourite lecture or seminar that I've been to? So I study international development, um, which basically is human geography degree, and the area where I'm mo that I'm most interested in is uh, migration studies, um, how people migrate from mainly sub-Saharan Africa to Europe. I'm, I'm actually in the process of writing a dissertation on this at the moment, how uh, European policy is affecting migrant um, crossings across the Mediterranean. My main focus is on um, NGOs work in the Mediterranean and how they uh, rescue lots of these refugees. Um, a lot of them coming from Syria in in like rubber dinghies that um, without the rescue boats they probably wouldn't make it. So I'd say yeah my favourite lecture I had was on migration and it was on migration in Africa and it was actually a really interesting lecture because it taught us about how most migration in Africa is actually within the continent. A lot of people think a lot of a lot of people perceive Africa to everyone wants to move out of it, but in reality, a lot of people are migrating amongst the African countries rather than out of Africa. Rachel also asks, have you been to any lectures on extra modules from other studies? So I haven't actually been to any lectures from different schools of study, but I have been to modules that were filmmaking modules, um, and it was one of the best modules I've actually done it at UEA since I've been there. It was a development film module. We learned how to make films. I learned quite a lot actually. We made a film about a local um, coffee shop around the corner. Maybe I'll share it on this channel some point. So there is options at UEA to take, say if you're studying English, you can take film modules. So if you're studying um, development, you can take environmental geography modules. So yeah, there is quite a lot of options to be quite flexible in what you study. Third question from Rachel is, are flat parties a common thing at UEA? Um, I'd say they're quite a common thing at UEA. There's quite a relaxed policy on campus, as long as you're not being too loud, disturbing people who are trying to study. Um, normally, house parties are completely fine. In term, they're not necessarily house parties, they're more like house pre's, where you go before you go to the LCR. Um, and yeah, as long as you're not being antisocial, going out on the roofs, um, making a mess, then usually that's fine. And fourth question, she's got five questions from Rachel. The fourth question is, how many times have you been on a night out in the city, and if so, was how was it? Um, in terms of going out in the city, 
There's quite a few places to go. One of our favourites is Loft, which we go to on a Thursday night, which is actually a gay club, um, but they do really, it's really, it's a, it's a pound entrance on a Thursday, and they do really cheap v, VSs, not VKs, VSs, um, so everyone goes there. That's a good place to go. Then there's a, some big clubs like Mantra, um, there's a new one opened up called Pop World, so they're all, there's a lot of clubs and they're all sort of situated on the Prince of Wales Street. Um, they're quite good, but I personally prefer going to the LCR because it's just all students there, it's safe, you haven't got to go far, it's on campus. So yeah, um, there is places to go in town, but I tend to usually go out to the LCR more, more often than not unless it's a Thursday night. And the final question from Rachel is, was the Ziggurats your top choice for accommodation? Um, I actually can't remember if it was my top choice for accommodation, but it definitely would be my top choice had I, if I were to choose now, because it, it was a really good experience. There was, how many of us was there? I think there was 14 of us in my flat in first year, which sounds crazy, um, but yeah, everyone got on really well. It was a really good atmosphere, so I'd definitely say the Ziggurats are my favourite. Nelson Court looks quite nice. The village also is off campus. People, people have spoken quite highly of that, of, of living there. So maybe the village is, is a good one as well. But yeah, from my experience, the ziggurats are really good for the social aspect of uni. And um, yeah, that's what I would recommend picking for accommodation. The next question is from the Makeup Joy. Um, she says, can you please film a video on international development and what it's like at UEA? International development at UEA is uh, basically a human geography degree which focuses on the study of inequality, the study of poverty, um, there's a lot of politics involved with it, there's a lot of anthropology, um, it really depends on what you want to do when you when you study development. So in first year you'll do some general development modules so such as there's like an introduction to international development, some people focus on the economics, some people on the anthropology, um, I personally chose the geography side of things, um, focus on migration, um, hence my dissertation. So yeah, there's within the School of Study of International Development, there's quite a lot of stuff that you can choose from, if that makes sense. The next question is from Powell. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, hey Ben, what about studying while you're in your room at the ziggurats? You had your roommate in the same room at different desks in his room. How it works out in the ziggurats with the twin room is that the the big of a big room of the twin room is where you sort of have both desks and I would sort of sit at one desk and he'd sit at another and that generally worked quite well um, so if you put headphones in um, and don't bother each other. Luckily my roommate Cam he was, uh, he was really considerate in terms of when it comes to, to working, sleeping, never really had any problems and especially when it was much cheaper to stay in the twin room, I thought the cost of staying there was, was definitely worth just having to study with someone else in the same room. Ewan asks quite a personal question, what do I plan on doing after university? Oh, I feel like that's the question that I always get asked by my grandparents or auntie, uncle, what do you want to do when you're older? Um, but yeah, I studied a filmmaking module in my second year of international development um, and it really, really inspired me to carry on with the filmmaking, hence why I do a lot of YouTube videos, practice making, editing um, of video and hopefully after university I want to go into sort of a um, filmmaking in development study, so sort of making films for charities, uh, making documentaries about people's stories in um, mainly in sub-Saharan Africa is my main um, area of interest. I think the best way of putting it really is like um, children in need, that sort of filming. Um, I'd like to make charity charity films um, that in, that raise awareness of people's stories really around the world. Honest Smiley asks, uh, I'm a new applicant at UEA and wonder is there any single studios for students? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by single studios. If you mean by music studios, um, there is individual practice rooms in the music centre which is quite near the student's shop. And there's also studios for editing. Um, if you're into film studies at all, there's film studies. If you mean... Um, oh, actually, maybe she means in the library. Yeah, so in the library, there's like individual studios where you can go and sit and work. I think you book... Well, yeah, you, you can book these online. Um, on eVision, I believe. You just go online, book a room, and then a time slot 
and then that little individual room is allocated to you where you can go in and sit and study in them. Some people like them, others prefer group study rooms, they've also got those on campus. Um, so yeah, there's plenty of areas on campus where you can sit in specific um, rooms just for yourself, if that's how you prefer to study. Next question is from Becca. She asked a few questions actually. So, what's your favourite topic in depth? I uh, pretty much already answered that. It's migration uh, studies. How do you find the seminars and lectures? Um, generally, the lectures are really interesting, um, especially on Dev. Um, the other day I was learning about state terrorism. It's not something you'd learn about on many other courses, I wouldn't expect, but always super interesting, really engaging, and the, sem the seminars especially are definitely worth going along to because um, you can get, get involved in the debates and discussions around topics that are, that are quite relevant. In UEA in general, I'm studying, I'm staying in the village. Do you think the social aspect would be the same? Uh, I actually had a friend who stayed in the village as well, uh, Louis the Ledge, some of you may know, and I believed he had a good time. Uh, it is off campus, so it's a little bit isolated from things going on, but some people like that. Other questions from Becca, how does the gym work? So, the gym. There's a fitness centre on on campus called the Sport at the Sports Park, and I believe it's 105 pounds for a membership at the at the, for the gym, and that is um, the off-peak membership, which means you can go before 4:30 and after 8:30 every day, apart from the weekends when you can go whenever you want. The gym, in terms of size, is quite small, though that would that's only that would be my only. Um, downside to the gym at UEA. I used the gym for the first two years and haven't really used it in third year because it just was getting a little bit too busy but maybe they'll expand it one day and I suppose for 105 quid it's it's pretty reasonable for the for the year um, and yeah they've got some good equipment in there just make sure we try and get there when there's not many people there really. I've got two more questions thanks for sticking with me um, the next question is from a Megan and she asks, what are into classes like, slash lecture, lecture slash classroom style? Can into students go out late at night, etc. Anything about into really, thank you very much. Um, so basically the into, if you don't know, is the accommodation on campus, which tends to be where most of the foreign students will stay when they're either studying for half a year or maybe they're, they're here for a whole time at university. They're quite expensive I believe and yeah into students can go out late at night as well. Um, they can go out whenever they want just like any other other accommodation there's no sort of curfew where you have to be back to your room at uni like the campus is a public space so you can go out whenever you want. Um, and the library's open 24 hours I think there's a, the lecture theatres are open 24 hours, not not for use for lectures, but because of the Islamic centre in there, and it has to be open for um, disabled access, I believe. So yeah, campus doesn't really really shut at all. If that is sort of answering that question, and the last question is from Saeed. I would love to see a video about the top 10 places to eat in and around the UEA campus. <clears throat> okay, so in terms of on campus, there's definitely not 10 places to eat, but you've got the campus kitchen where you can get um, full meals there, you can also get like portions of chips. I think it's fairly reasonably priced, but um, yeah, it's, it's obviously not as not as cheap as as getting like, um, as cook, making your own food. Um, you do pay a little bit extra for that hot meal. On campus you can get a meal deal for £3.49 I believe. Um, which I try not to do too much, but for convenience, that is there. Uh, where, where else can you eat on campus? The Sainsbury Centre, they do some really nice food. I think that's completely independent from the uni. Um, yeah, if you want some really good grub, then take your parents there when they come up to stay. I think that's about it really for food on campus. And in terms of off campus, there's loads of places in Norwich where you can get food. Uh, my favourite is um, it's called the Goulash House, I believe. Um, on the way to town where you can get some really nice Hungarian food in there. So I'd definitely check that place out. So that is just about all the questions I've been asked so far on in the comments. If you've got any other questions then feel free to leave them in the comments of this video and I'll happily get round to answering those in a Q&A part 2 if, if that's what people want. And it has been helpful, leave a like and maybe consider subscribing. Uh, yeah, we'll see you with another vlog soon. Bye!